fish, okay? If you look up there, you'll see this fish with whitish coloration underneath the mouth. You see that? The one up there. You see this one? Right over here. Well, this is actually the national fish for Cambodia. It is called the giant Siamese carp. Well, this fish is known to be the mother of all carps. And that is because it can grow up to 3 meters and weighing up to 300 kilograms. If you're wondering how big that is, if you look up to your left, that will be the actual size of it. Big, isn't it? It's even bigger than the bench is sitting on. Well, this fish is rather unique because not only that they are toothless, they are also stomachless. They do not have a true stomach at all. Well, now let me show you the second giant. Well, do you see what is right at the bottom? Tell me, what's at the bottom? Yes, it's a giant freshwater stingray. Well, these stingrays, generally, females are much bigger. The female over here, she weighs about 80 to 90 kilograms. And the male, he weighs about 50 to 60 kilograms. Now, let me ask all of you a question. For a full-grown giant freshwater stingray of this size, how heavy is that? 100 pounds? Pounds are, I don't know pounds. How many kilograms? How many kilograms? 50? No? 300? It's actually 500 to 600 kilograms. Well, not much is known about this stingray, and that's because they are only discovered in the 90s. But what we do know is that they are highly dangerous. You know why? You know what is their favorite pastime? They like to go onto the surface of the river and capsize fishing boats. And on the big black tail, there are spines that are at least 38 centimeters that can pierce through your flesh and through your bones, killing you. So that is why they are highly dangerous. Well now, let me show you the bird giant. Oh, well, do you see this fish over here? This one. Well, these are called the iridescent shark. It's an iridescent shark. So tell me, are they a shark? No, that's right. If you look at them carefully, they are very tiny whiskers. And these are catfish, actually. But if you notice how they swim, they swim like a shark, isn't it? And the head is flattened like a shark. And if you look at the dorsal fin, the fin on top, it is very high and it's triangular in shape. So that is why they look like a shark, isn't it? So that is why we call them the shark catfish. Well, in the shark catfish family, there are 30 over members. And over here, we have got three of them. And the first one is the iridescent shark. And the second member will be a high fin catfish. Well, let me find you the high fin catfish. You see this fish with very long rays. Ah, right there. You see that fish over there? Uh, duck. You see this one up there, swimming? You look at the fins, it has got an extended ray at the end, like a filament. You see that? Well, that is called the high fin catfish, or also known as the giant hamnasias. Well, if you notice how they eat, which is where we're going to feed them right now, for you, feed them now for you. Okay, watch how they consume the food. Well, over here, we give them a wide variety of fish pellets cut fish pieces as well as oak ball. So you see how they eat? Look at how big the mouth is. You see that? It's sucking the food. Well, if you look at it, it may look like they are toothless, especially the iridescent shark and the giant pangas here. But the thing is that if you put your hands inside, you know that if you take it out, you can get cuts on your hand. And that's because they have got teeth that are like sand paper, which are called the bonori and the pelting teeth. For well, the next member of the shark catfish, well, this fish is a very famous catfish. It's in the Guinness Book of World Records to be the world's largest freshwater fish. And if you look up there, you see those black colored big fish up there? The black colored fish up there? Well, those are called the giant miko catfish. They are known as the largest is because they can grow up to 3 meters and weighing up to 350 kilograms in only six years. So chances are, five years down the road, you come back to River Safari, you'll find them that size. If you look up to your right, you see that graphical over there? That is a full-grown size of a giant mekong catfish. 
we hope so. Well, now let me show you the last giant in this exhibit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who are in front of the panel, do you want to step back, please? Step back. Go step back. Well, ladies and gentlemen, just focus your attention to the page. Do you see two catfish over there? Do you see two catfish there? They do not belong to the shark catfish. They are a typical catfish with very long whiskers and a flattened body like an eel. you see that? Near the stingray up there. Well, those catfish, they are called the Wawago, or also known as the helicopter catfish. The reason why they're called the helicopter catfish is because if you look at them, they can stay in one spot for the longest time. Well, this particular catfish, they are highly territorial. That is why they are guarding the cave. They are not allowing any other fish to go into the cave. Well, the, besides being highly territorial, they are also highly aggressive and purely carnivorous. Yeah. Do you know that the Mekong people fear these catfish? And the reason why is because they are known to feed on small ducks, dogs, and even small children. And it is also believed that once they have tasted the human flesh, they will never settle for another type of meat. So do you believe me? Do you believe me? No? Want to try? I got an instant volunteer. Thank you. Come. Come. I, I bring you down. Oh, no. <laughs> well, the reason why, for me, I believe it. And the reason why I believe it is because in the Mekong River, dead bodies are being disposed inside the water, isn't it? And because they are purely carnivorous, they recognize these bodies as meat, isn't it? Rather than a human flesh. So that is why, in some way, we need to thank them because they are helping us to clean up the river system. Well, take a look at them, they are very grumpy looking. And do you know that they can grow up to 2.4 meters? That is why they are considered as another giant in the Mekong River. But we'll come to the end of the Mekong feeding trail over here. The next program, well, if you look at the weather right now, the next program is actually outdoor and that will be very permitting. So if you head down this way, you'll come up to the giant panda forest where you meet our two very cute pandas, Hai and Jia Jia. And after that, when you exit out of the giant panda forest, we will be there for an annual encounter at 3.35. At 3.35, we'll be having an annual encounter outside the giant panda forest. If it is really very gray baby, we are unable to do this program at all. Okay, so it's better for me. I'll see you at 3.35. Just keep your fingers crossed. Okay, see you later. Thank you.